I hadn't planned on doing this today, but you know Jane and I always kind of get in trouble. So it was um, communicated to me that I could use more Botox than my more conservative <laughs> Botox. And since I am now officially a Hotox, I was curious to find out. So hi, Seattle. So not really, we're live. Okay, so I didn't really plan on this. And especially now, what's with all the very medical looking stuff? I like medical stuff that's not medical looking. So we're at Rejuvenate MD. Hi, hi. And we they feel like I could use a minute. Let me flip it around. You're in the you're in Wales. That's awesome. Alabama, Illinois. Oh wait, okay. I'm having a low tech moment. Okay. Hi. So we're getting a little bit more Botox because it is addictive. Help. <laughs> it looks like a gynecologist, right? I mean, what's happening? I don't know. But um, so Dr. Lonnie Green in Richmond is um, Nashville, California, Chicago. How fun are we? I kind of love us. So Jane's here and came to work and we have like 48 hours to solve all the world's problems. And here we are at the Botox place, accidentally on purpose. But I am gonna start with um, a better skincare routine, better than my Irish Spring stuff. And so he is gonna do some supplemental Botox, and then I'm gonna get educated on skincare. Hi, Sweden, New Jersey, Minnesota, Texas. We are freaking global. <laughs> I love us. <laughs> okay, do you see the chair? It's a little bit scary. <laughs> Okay, you get 36 units and you're 31 and you can still move your face. Your first live, yay! Okay, I did use Irish Spring, but I've, I have gotten better from there, but I think I still have a ways to go. But you know, I get kind of overwhelmed. So they're gonna help me figure all that stuff out. And in the meantime, get high South Carolina, getting a little bit more. So see that, they didn't like that. I don't like it either. That's not cute. <laughs> so, for somebody who'd never had it, now we're kind of hooked. Can you hear Jane giggling in the background? Because we're already there. She you here? No. Will she be in a picture? No. <laughs> you can hear. Okay, so this is Donnie Green. Hi. Hey. Hi there. At um, Rejuvenate MD. Am I okay to sit? Please sit. Should now. I sit? Please sit. Okay, so he's going to tell us everything we, whoa, everything we need yeah. to know. And I may get Jane, um, well, actually, I'll turn it around. Let me turn it, I'll turn it around so you guys okay. can. Okay, and we'll put this up a little bit. You're in Richmond? Okay, so I'm at Rejuvenate MD. And there, <laughs> hi, doctor. Hey there. Hi. Glad you're joining us. <laughs> We're glad you're here. Okay, so it's Dr. Lonnie Green at Rejuvenate MD, and yes, to more Botox. Sleep wrinkles on your face. What do we do for sleep wrinkles on our face? Uh -huh. Sleep so, sitting up. <laughs> yeah. So um, there's, there's different reasons that the face forms wrinkles. There's uh, reasons of muscles that move too much, and that's what Botox is for. It relaxes slash paralyzes those muscles. Wrinkles that come from either smiles or from where you go on your face um, means that there's a volume loss there. There's some high, it's your hyaluronic acid loss, and that we treat with fillers. So if there's a place, um, let's see, and you smile really big for me. So you see this line here. Get my hair out of yeah, the way. Okay. 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 Uh, my hair good? You're, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's yeah, okay. good. I'm good. He's All right. okay. He's I'm good. okay. All right. So when, when Natalie smiles, um, like that. you see this line right there? That's not because of a muscle. That's because of her face moving. It's always moving in that area. So Botox would not do anything for that. If she wanted something, that would be filler. Same thing here. There's a, sort of a line here, and that's uh, sort of a lack of volume. Okay? Smile. You see how that... On, on the contrast is if you turn your head a little bit and smile really big, these lines here are coming from... Oh, dear from Lord, a, fillers scare me. Those are coming just from... Some of the comments. Oh, they're easy. They're easy. I use the cannula. It's very easy. So um, th these are from muscles. And if you... you Well, you've had some Botox here. Ra raise your eyebrows. He will address everything. Yeah. And l look angry for me. Yeah. Oh, so, wait. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, is that yeah, yeah. So when you look angry or wrinkle your nose, yeah, like a bunny, these are from muscles. And so the answer to that is sleep lines are much more filler and... Muscle lines that come from moving the muscles or Botox. Okay, fillers are amazing. Yay! See how much we're learning. 
hashtag Instagram University. <laughs> Are you able to put this on for me? Do you mind? I know it's for, everything. Is Could, it my hair? Yeah. Okay, Janie, that can would you be hold? the best thing. So okay. We're going to do this right. We're doing it right. Yeah, my hair is already right. <laughs> plastic surgery. Canola is awesome. You don't feel a thing. Are we doing that? Did we talk about that? Oh, oh it's cannula. Yeah, cannula. Yeah, cannula. Yeah. Uh, don't be don't be throwing tricky words sorry, at people. Yeah, yeah. People. I thought maybe canola oil. You knew something I didn't know. No. Uh, so, oh, so look, dye sport too. People have asked me about that new oh, headband. Dysport. New headband. Yeah. So sport. Yeah. So uh, the word neurotoxin. Botox is like Kleenex. Okay. Kleenex doesn't mean tissue, but everyone knows, right? right the brand name Kleenex. Botox is a neurotoxin, meaning it stops, the way it works is it stops the signal from the nerve to the muscle, therefore the muscle won't move because it doesn't have a signal to move. Okay. Um, so that's a neurotoxin. Um, you can use um, different products. In the, in the United States, there are three that are FDA approved. Botox is the most well known. There's one called Xeomin, and there's also one called Dysport. Okay. And essentially, they are all a form, they're all neurotoxins, slightly different Training. in the way they're packaged. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to look 12. Yeah. So, You're darn right. So Botox, <laughs> Botox um, has a protein on it, DMN doesn't, but, but in the end of the day, they're, they're all doing that kind of same thing. They're relaxing the muscles. Hashtag homeschool. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. Well, no, so, it's a field trip. No, okay, okay, it's still homeschool, yeah. but it's like a field, hashtag field trip. And so what's interesting is if you turn, turn again and it turns Which, sideways and smile really big, so the, the, oh lines, no. the lines form perpendicular to the fibers of the muscle. So I don't know if they can see this. Oh my here, gosh, this but, is but, legit homeschool. Yeah, we'll be expecting a check in the mail sorry, for your tuition. So, and if you see these muscles around her eye, that's called the... Um, oc, uh, the well, her lashes are great. Yeah, she does have good lashes. Good lashes. Yeah. 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 She's so, cute. so this muscle f is this way, and the lines form perpendicular. That's why they're radial. Oh. So what we're going to do is put Botox here and relax this muscle so that those lines will not be so prominent at all. And the same thing, I don't know if you know that you know how the lines in your forehead were more this way? Yes. Because the muscle that's fibers run this way and the lines form that way. So relaxing this stops those lines. Interesting. Yeah. And we'll, so we'll be doing this area today and this area. And then just so you know, um, can I hear this mirror? I want you to look here. That step. Yes. So there's other places that you can use uh, neurotoxin that people don't always think of. If you look in the mirror for me, I know you look at this. You are multifunctional. <laughs> I'm, I'm this trying is crazy. to look at the mirror and the phone. Yeah. Oh, but so, now those wrinkles are there for well, stop Why are they at there? Those. Wait, 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 wait. Here. Make them stop. All right, all right. But look in the mirror here. <laughs> okay, wait. Right. Okay. Whoopsie. So as, as we age, bunny we, lines. things start happening. I have bunny happening. lines? What you are bunny lines? Bunny lines are right here. Wrinkle your nose like a bunny and then relax. Those little creases. There. All those years at Playboy. There you go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so okay. if you relax, you see how the corners of your mouth go down a little bit instead of mm -hmm. like neutral. They're sort of like drop down a little bit. And as you age, that becomes more and more prominent. People don't like that because when you're, it looks like you're angry, even though you're not angry. Resting. Resting. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, that, exactly. <laughs> right. So these little lines here are partly due to a loss of volume, but partly because there's a muscle here called your DAO, those are the initials, and that muscle's pulling down 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh, no. So if we put some Botox here, relax that muscle, that helps that line not be so prominent. Same thing here. If you see this muscle here, that's called your mentalis. And see this line that's there? The reason you have that line, this, this muscle does two things. It forms this line, and then it makes your skin look like we call poterized, the skin of an orange. So it becomes a little more puckered as we age. So oh, I don't want it. that's a very tough line to get rid of once it's deep. So putting some Botox here can relax that OMG. muscle and that line. So that's, that's another place that I, I'd suggest you consider. Um, sold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, let me think about it for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, you now by getting Botox, you'll notice lines in other places. But you know what? We'll just see, Doctor Natalie. Right? Please, please be taking notes. There will be a quiz at the end. <laughs> I know we're all starting to notice lines we never noticed on ourselves. I know, yeah. me too. Okay, yeah. it, for like for real first word prop world problems. Let's not even kid ourselves. Okay, we know this. You haven't missed anything fabulous yet. Jesus, take the wheel. I know it. Jesus, take the needle. Okay, so we're getting more Botox. Because here's why. What is happening? The other Botox doctor, well, yeah. they didn't get fired. They just, we just you know, we came, came here for another reason and then yeah. feel like we could supplement. Yeah, we happen to be here and I talking. Because I don't love that. 
Yeah, and so you know, whenever we do Botox, especially if someone's first time, you don't always know how the muscles are going to react. So it's very reasonable to do a certain amount, reevaluate certain areas. Like if she tries to look, look, try to look surprised for me. What yeah, is that? Yeah. Raise your eyebrows. <laughs> Raise your eyebrows. Yeah. So there's not much motion. So there's right. definitely no more Botox to do there. No more. Look angry for me. Yeah, so she has some motion here. One could put a little more there, but I would say there are no 11 lines. I would just leave that alone. Um, just happens Funny. that when you smile really big, go ahead and smile. Yeah, there's definitely more motion here. So, so we'd like to get that to be a little smoother. And then areas she's never had before are certain things to really do, like this area here, because this, as, as one gets older, this gets more and more droopy, and you might as well start now to prevent that. <laughs> Same thing here. It's already got a little crease. Proactive. Didn't have that 20 years ago, and, and we can try See. to soften that. Can I put Botox on my boob until they're perky and don't move? Legit uh, question, doctor. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, actually, that no. would not help your boobs at all. I'm sure there are other things. Stick around. Yeah. We'll find them, yeah. and we'll try them. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start wiping you off while He's we're talking. He's going to start wiping okay. me off. And Al alcohol and just alcohol prep. Yep. Okay. So it might smell a little bit. Okay. So, um, <laughs> racing for a mirror. Team no droop. <laughs> there you go. Asking for a friend, for real. So I am well aware that one-stop shop. You're not kidding. Um, I am well aware that these are first world problems. Yes. If you're, are you botoxing, botoxing the frown lines or using fillers? Uh, well, I didn't know I had bunny lines or frown lines. What other lines did I have? Elevens. Elevens. So Something you, else. you don't have elevens right now. I don't have them. Um, those are lines that go like this. Now, if you look angry. <laughs> what a hilarious doctor that actually answered the boob question. <laughs> well, what can I tell you? you it's know? a legit inquiring minds want to know. There you go. Asking for a friend, but not really at all. <laughs> Joan Rivers said, never close your mouth and those downward lip lines don't develop. Well, don't worry. We're, we're on, we are on track for that. Yeah. Get her done. So this is just fine. And you know, I'm like a guinea pig slash science project, and I'm always curious. And worst case scenario, what's the, we don't know. Okay. This is good, we're learning. Um, no, the I'm... only, does he know my history, like about recovery stuff? <laughs> I think people are worried that I'm really, a... Jane, will you reassure everybody that I'm not gonna have to go to Botox rehab? No, you won't have to I go think, to I promise. Do you know, We're okay. one of my favorite cartoons is there's a, uh, you know, hy you know hypochondriacs and everything. Yes. Around. And there's a, there's a cartoon of the hypochondriacs anonymous, and it says the first step is to admit that you don't have a problem. <laughs> I, then I'm perfect. All right, you're ready. I don't have a problem. So you know, what, Bring this it on. Is, you know what this is, right? Not really. You ready? ready? Jane, can you, you I might yeah. need you to yeah. hold, hold it. it. So you don't know what this is. I, should I turn it around? So that you, you can, can hold see. it and answer questions or ask questions. Sure. Okay, she's Just hiding. Like literally, I'm having to be super turn it back careful back. not for Jane to be seen. Okay, there. All right. But Let's if go. you need to narrate, do you want me to? Okay, we're good. Questions. You know what I mean? All right. I'm aware that I went from zero to hero on the Botox thing, and just no, be worry. <laughs> Since we're going to do her nasalis, can you just ask her to drop four units? Yeah. yeah. Four more units. So um, dropping units up in here. Yeah. Um, so, um, so. Oh, yeah. What's that? It's my favorite color. Yeah. See how it vibrates? Oh. So there's a gated uh, pathways of neural transmission, nerve transmission. So okay. in order that we always try to make this be as comfortable as possible. So I'm going to put this on a part of your skin. It actually doesn't have to be near where I'm working. Anywhere it's going to cause the uh, nerves to use their gates to let mm -hmm. vibration sense go through, so less discomfort of the sharp muscle okay. through. So don't want you to scare. No scare problem. Muscles. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let you know. So I'm going to be injecting three different areas here, five units each, three here, okay, and then a little bit here on the side of your nose, a little bit here on the side of your mouth, and then right here in the chin. Okay, right. I'm excited. All right, I'm excited too. Let me just get a gauze. Bruising is, so fun. bruising is always possible with this. I'm just letting you know. Hashtag worth it. Yeah, generally we try to avoid that, but it's always possible. And then um, uh, I'll tell you other instructions in just a second. Okay, right? somebody did ask about diluting. Ah, dilution. It, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know enough to right. know other than to read you what they said right. earlier. So, They're asking, uh, the gold thing vibrates the area? Yeah. Is that 
the, the gold Helping thing, uh, yeah, it decreases pain and it causes the nerves in the face to transmit vibratory, vibratory sensation. And then there's less gated pathways for any other sensation to go through. So I usually do it in the area I'm working, but it doesn't work by people say, well, it's distracting. It's actually much more than distraction. It actually reduces nerve transmission of, of any other sense, including pain fibers. So uh, generally, depending on the area, when I do this area, I wanna put my thumb here and use two hands, so I'll have the patient hold it. If I'm in this area, it's just easy for me to steady it and, and use it right there. Um, the dilution I'm using, using is two to one. So what that means is when you get neurotoxin, it comes undiluted. We have to put sa saline in it. Uh, the reason I use, some, some people use that what's called a tight dilution one-to-one. -one. I use two-to-one because it's more volume. You're going to have a slightly larger bump for about five or ten minutes. It's going to go down. But I actually wanted to diffuse in a greater area. Um, there are some places you have to be very careful with because if I go too close here and hit one of these muscles that causes you to smile, you won't like me because your smile will drop. So it, it's not about the Botox, Xeom, and Dysport as much as it is about who's doing it and whether they know their facial anatomy. Uh, anatomy, you just got to know your anatomy. Right. Anatomy is key. Was that too long? <laughs> no. If everybody could send me your mailing address so we can send your di your diploma, <laughs> that would be great. Jane, I'll send you your medical diploma. Yeah. We, and we love our patients to be educated here at Rejuvenate because the more you You're know, welcome. the better you know. So, See? All right. So this again, this is that vibratory okay. thing. And you'll, you'll, you might feel a little pinch. A little pinch is just goes in. This is going to be in that area I just told you about. You doing okay? I'm good. All right, you're still. I'm watching so the waves on the TV. Excellent, excellent. Keep watching. See what they're doing. Ow. Pinch. Yeah, doing great. And one last time down here, you're gonna feel a little pinch coming up. All right. So so far, you haven't passed out. You haven't left me. Let's see. Life this is, is good, boring. right? Yeah. This is no no action at all. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna have you just turn your head this way. Good. And I'm gonna use the same thing here. That does. They're help. asking if you hear the skin crack, Maddie. I don't know what that means. A couple of people asked me that. Skin crack? Is that what they said? They yes. asked if it does like a crackling noise. Yeah. A couple different. Every time I've done Botox, oh. do you know what that yeah, means? Yeah, I experience it when I get my Botox. Really. So I have not. Yeah, I have not. Um, sometimes with fillers, if you're, uh, sometimes you'll go down to the bone, you can hear like a little crunching, but that's about the only thing I can think of for that. All right, so just a little tiny little bit there. Wait, that looks good. Balls? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want some squeezy balls? Oh! Ooh, that's nice. There you go. All right, awesome. That looks good. So let's. I go was here. I was gripping the hand mirror, which could have <laughs> been problematic eventually. All right. So now I'm going to have you hold okay. this with your other hand. What is this called? Um, the vibratory <laughs> pain relief thing. Vibratory but you know pain what? relief thing. Can I tell you something? That's my kind of terminology. Yeah. <laughs> when I was looking for this, I, I decided I, I wanted to get it. I can only imagine. Well, all yeah. right. So there are a bunch of them available. <laughs> and you know why I chose this one? Why? Because yeah. this one has a healing stone from China inside. Oh, that's cool. Is that cool? That's really cool. I don't think it makes mm -hmm. a difference in the outcome, but it, it's but really cool, here, right? Because it's also Healing pretty. stone from China. All right, so you can put this over here, doesn't have to be where I'm working. Okay, just and, and the reason I'm doing this, let me tell you the reason I'm doing this is because this muscle called your DAO muscle mm -hmm. is the one we want to knock out, but it lives very close to this muscle. And this muscle will cause a lip droop if I get it in there. So I have to okay. pinch this, yeah, I have to know, you know, pinch this. But as long as I'm staying right where I'm staying, and I inject that, that will not happen. Go to the other side, put it on the other What's side. What's the you want to switch hands? D A R. Oh, that's it, Daughters that's of the your, Revolution. No, that's, that's your probably not the same de thing. De depressor angular, angular, angularis oris. That's your depressor angularis oris. That's why I call it the D A O. I get it. Yeah. I'll say it yeah. three times fast. Yeah, <laughs> depressor angularis oris. All right, this way. And then you're going to feel me do the same thing. And then it's a little stick. Boom. How are you doing? Okay. Good. All right, so let's do your mentalis muscle, which is right here. They want to know how many units you put in. Uh, I just put three units in each DAO, and I put five, 10, 15 units in each side of her uh, crow's, what we call the crow's feet area. Okay. And now in the mentalis, I'm going to do eight units. I'm going to do four quadrants, one, two, three, four. Okay, do you <laughs> want to put that anywhere on your face, Natalie? People are saying it looks so painful, Natty. Really? Is it hurting? Is oh, it painful? Well, no, I mean... I mean, you know, all things are it's relevant, right? It's like a little bee sting, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's done. And then... Um, this helps. This does yeah. help. I yeah. mean, it, it is sort of... Yeah, and then look at... So it does feel like a little bee sting, you know, like a prick. You're aware of it. Yeah. 
So, so one thing I, I didn't talk to you about, um, which I forgot. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn okay. that off. So let me just show you something. So women tend to like it when the their eyebrow goes up a little bit at the end, mm -hmm. called a brow lift. When I look at you straight on, it looks to me like this one goes up a little more than that one. Um, would you guys agree? Do you think? Do you think this this curve goes up just a little more than that one? Mm-hmm. Can the audience tell us if they agree? Like, can yeah, they, oh, ask. can they? Do you guys think this I, goes up a little more at the end than this one? Like, this one looks flatter to me. He's asking about the eyebrow curve. Yeah, like one goes up at the end a little bit more. Is that what you're talking that would about? My left boob is bigger than my right boob. Somebody said yes. So I feel like that would yeah. balance that. Yes, so, everybody's yeah. saying yes. Everyone right. says yes. Okay, Thanks so it. I'm gonna do. Two, I, there's a muscle here that. Um, that is tight and when I if I relax that muscle it will bring this up a little bit and I usually do it on both sides but the most important thing with any patient is to look at them because almost everyone's asymmetric right oh honey don't and, I know it yeah so so we want to be able to look and say well what's good for your face and the way I see it with you is <laughs> this this um this goes up a little more so I'm going to do only on one side I'm going to give you just two units here to try and make that go up and match that Okay. It's not so much that matching, it's just you want those brows to go up. It makes you look a little more alert. So let's do that. It's only two years. I hope I can get. Yeah, it's, it's really not much at all. So. People are wondering if you know how many units she had before from the other doctor. Uh, hold, I, I do. Hold that with this hand. I had. And then bring it up She here. did, yeah. and she told him. And put it there. Oh, they're worried that, that he, he doesn't, doesn't know, know that I but already have. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's right. worried. I'm like, yeah. they're so, like, get the straight jacket, yeah, get her a realm yeah. at the Botox rehab. Yeah. Well, this is actually very, uh, this is really, um, here, let's turn it off. Some. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, this is really uh, very reasonable. So if someone's never had Botox before, you just don't know how they're going to react. Sure. Very reasonable to do a certain amount, come back, reassess, and do some more. Um, a lot of people, it's sort of a lot of school of thought would be Botox up here and fillers down there. Mm -hmm. That's sort of not really the best way to approach the face. So using Botox here, using fillers all over the face is very reasonable. Okay. So it's it's totally fine. Now I have had a some, reasonable yeah. gap. But what we're not doing is putting more Botox here or here because that's totally you don't need more. Right. It here was you just here. need a little more, yeah. and here you've never had it. So right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're killing so, it. So what we're gonna do now is just here we go. Let's hold that again. We're gonna look twelve. Right there. Yeah. Where am I doing with this? Just anywhere, wherever. Anywhere. Anywhere. Where uh, are you going? I'm going I can't to. I'm going to try and get your brow just to be a little. Oh, that's right. Here, we're evening okay? out. So just a, you're going to feel just a little tiny bit, and that's just two units there. Ready? Okay, there we go. And that's all you need. And then the last place we're going to go is we called your bunny lines. If you wrinkle your nose like a bunny, yeah. Wrinkle, yeah. So do it again. I like to call them the Hugh Hefner lines. Thank you. Personally. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Wrinkle, yeah. So, okay, relax. So there's some linear lines here, some lines across, and hers are not particularly deep, but they will be in five or 10 years. Abort. And so let's get rid of good, them now. The best defense is a good offense. You got it. A little <laughs> pinch here, a little pinch there, okay? okay? I'm ready. Does this feel kind of weird because they're close to your, uh, you know, there you go, that. Yeah, those are used, I save those for last, for that reason. All right, ready, here I go, a little pinch, and that's it, we're done. Okay. So you are now all done. Am I done? And, uh, yeah, I ended up not using that because I did less than there. So, so yeah. So, so you are done. Let me just wipe it off. And now the most important thing. You ready? Don't love it or hate it for two weeks. Okay. The reason I say that, I mean, if there's any problems before then, but it can take a little while. Usually it kicks in sooner, but things can change. So you don't want to go chasing your tail. But if it's not, you know, a little asymmetric, something's changed, just let me know. Can can take care of that. If you do have bruising. Let's just say you had bruising, right? It was on the side and you had some big event to go to. We have a machine called the Cyton BBL. It's intense pulse light. It does wonders for bruises. So if you call tomorrow and say, hey, I got a little bruising, we'll just have you come in and we'll just okay. zap it with that. It doesn't cost you anything and, and it lessens it. But I really don't think you. And then post instructions is don't go out and get a facial massage. Don't go, you know, rubbing your face for about four hours. Um, some people will say move your muscles or don't move your muscles. Just do whatever you're going to do. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't go work out right now. Uh, by tonight, <laughs> by don't, don't worry about. We're, we're good on that. <laughs> okay. Um, if I to, by tonight you could. Okay. And, uh, and and. But I will just be safe and not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just for the next couple of years, right? For just to be safe. Again, <laughs> safety first. All right. And lastly, is do you have any questions for me? I don't think so. Yeah. What else can we do fun? Is this it? Well, <laughs> well, we're gonna do some more fun things. We're gonna okay. do. We got the hydrofacial. You saw the machine. Oh yeah. How cool did that machine? That is killer. Right? I mean, that really. And 
Will you explain a little bit about the hydrofacial? It's like a yeah. combo thing, yeah. sort of. It's Hy like a multi yeah. faceted, fabulous. Exactly. Yeah, hydrofacial is just amazing. And we can talk about the reason you're going to do the fabulous program. Let's let's skip for a second. Can I tell you about fabulous? Can I talk about fabulous? Um, it's my favorite word. Okay, love fabulous. Fabulous is a program we have here because we, we like to say, look, Christy Brinkley looks fabulous. Would you agree? Yeah. So she looks fabulous for two reasons. Number one, she started young. And number two, she did it on a really regular schedule. Well, I don't have a time machine, but I do have a calendar. <laughs> so when we do this Botox, what we're doing is we're relaxing those muscles so they don't move. Um, those lines are because the muscles move. And I got, story, I, got, I got news for you. When you were younger, those muscles moved just as much as now, but your skin was so much more elastic. So what we want to do is stop these, and usually Botox works for about three months, okay? Mm -hmm. So after three months, they're going to start moving again. And the typical patient we have here, he does it for three months, and they love it. They just love it. And then about three months, they start noticing something in the mirror. Three and a half, they notice it again. Four months, it's starting to bother them. Four and a half months, they pick up the phone. And five months, they're in here getting Botox again. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is between month and month three and month five, their muscles have moved and it's starting to cause some more skin damage again. So if we can get patients to come about every three to four months, in that window of time, number one, they're going to look so much better over the long term. Number two, those muscles are going to start to atrophy. It's like an astronaut that goes in space and they can have a hard time walking when they get back because mm -hmm. they haven't used them. And that's what we want, is if we can get them to slightly atrophy, you're going to look fabulous. Over time, you'll even need less Botox. Mm -hmm. So we have a program set up for that where we, break, we figure out how much you need for the year, this is your plan, we put it on a monthly payment so it's very reasonable. What I tell patients is when I leave my you know, dentist's office, I know for the next 18 months when I'm coming back to get my teeth cleaned, mm -hmm. why not do it for you? A number of people, yeah. and followers, you guys have all said, don't wait six months, come right. three months. With that, you know, I, f I tell people, look, if you can clean your teeth twice a year, you dye your hair every eight weeks, why can't you take care of your skin on a mm -hmm. regular schedule, you know? Sold. Yeah, yeah, let's I'm do it. I'm about fabulous. So that's fabulous, <laughs> that's fabulous. And then the hydrofacial is a wonderful thing we have now. We love it. And, and I, I think they call it a facial because it's a less, less of a threatening term, but it's really much more than a facial. It, it cleanses, it extracts impurities in the skin, um, it exfoliates, it uses salicylic acid, glycolic acid. Mm -hmm. And then the, and we use LED lights, red lights and blue lights to calm down reds. It's great for acne. Oh my gosh. And then we also have, um, it also infuses different serums. And so the wonderful thing about that is we can use things like, for instance, if you feel like your skin is not bright enough, a serum for brightener. Uh, if you feel like you need more growth factors, we can bring growth target factors. It. Yeah. And then the, we have this deluxe version where we do a lymphatic drainage, where it just, it's, it completely uh, massages the lymphatic system to drain all those toxins away. And then at the end, we take clear liquid that we start with and we, it's really ugly. We show you the gunk that comes off your skin and mm. it is amazing. So when you have one, you, I'll die. You'll die. How you'll frequently die. do you recommend doing those and you how know, long do they take? I'm sure. just curious. The hydrofacial, um, there's three different versions. We do sort of a signature version that takes about 30 minutes. If we're going to add the serums that we infuse, that's 45 minutes. When we add the lymphatic drainage, that's an hour. Mm -hmm. um, they are wonderful, first of all, if you have like a wedding to go to or something like that, it completely leaves your skin with an amazing glow. Um, it's, it was, it's great to do, for instance, maybe, I mean, look, if you could do it once a month, that would be great. Mm -hmm. If time and budget allows, I love that. I'd say at least every three months, mm -hmm. and especially, you know, we're coming into the warm months now, the summer takes a beating on your skin, mm -hmm. a real beating. So doing something like a hydrofacial in the next spring, and especially in July and August, when you can infuse in, in your mm -hmm. skin and you get that glowing look, it's just amazing. I'm excited to try Yeah, that. yeah, no, you're gonna love it. And then getting you on, I know you do lots of skincare. <laughs> lots of, <laughs> yeah. lots of different products. Yeah, certain things when I look at it, I'm like, hmm, don't what try that at home. What is she doing? Yeah. <laughs> That's mostly what, it, what not to do. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It's, I think it's great to have home care regimen, believe right. me. Um, but we're going to try to see if we can come up with a prescription for you to Perfect. do on a regular basis, which then what you do on top, as long as you don't, you know, cause flammable things <laughs> to happen to your face, um, as long as that doesn't occur, I think we'll be in good shape. No, I'm looking forward to that because I don't, I've never really been educated on, actually I've learned, I told you guys, I've learned more on Instagram than I had in my entire life. And mostly what I've learned is I should have 
been doing better. But then I get overwhelmed because there's yeah. so, the more I read about skincare, the more I kind of get paralyzed because there is so much. And then I finally think I figured it out and I read something like, well, don't use those together. I'm like, crap. So I would like help to at least know what I'm, yeah. I'm it's such an advance for me to do anything. Yeah. But that's a big deal, but at least I want to feel like I'm doing it right. I don't yeah. mind committing if I feel like I'm not doing it wrong. You know, and it's so, it's so hard to hear you say this because you're so much like every patient at Rejuvenate MD and you almost, like people like you say it like they feel guilty. I mean, this is what we do. We're supposed to tell you what to use. Right. You're, you're, I wouldn't know interior design from interior design, right? <laughs> I need that. Yeah. So, so um, don't feel badly about it. You're doing a great job. I, I told you earlier, the average American woman, you're not the average, but the average American woman has $1,150 of product in her bathroom because one time she did this, and then her aunt told her this was good, and then she started using that. Right. Thing. So our goal here is to sit down, individualize. We don't charge for consultations. We put you through a customized you know, program and say, look, what's good for you? What's good for your skin? And then we have a prescription pad. We say, here's what you do in the morning. Here's what you do in the evening. I Let's reevaluate. I need that. Yeah. And we didn't have time today, but we have a thing, something called the Vizia Computerized Facial Analysis. Oh. You are going to love it in here. I already, oh. You're going to love it in here. It's going to tell me stuff I don't want to It's going to show you, well, how can you do it today before you leave? It's going to show you some pictures of your face up close. But what it's going to do is going to show you underneath your face the sun damage you've sustained in your life. But the good news, the good news is we have ways of getting yeah. those sun damages to come to the skin and fall off. And I'm not kidding you. You'll see brown spots come to the skin and literally fall off. Can we do that today? <laughs> I, I mean, you guys probably want to see that. Well, I mean, again. Oh, the like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can do the Vizia right now. Let's do that. Oh, man, you People are it. asking what age is a good time to start upkeep and Botox. Let's see what time is it now. Uh, <laughs> um, they close at five. Yeah, well, I will tell you, I, I, I work with lots of kids, and three of my kids are daughters, and what I tell them now is much different than I would have told them 20 years ago. So I believe that... Um, and again, this goes back to Christy Brink, who looks fabulous. She started at a young age. So I think that there's no set age, but for instance, there are some people who are very expressive, some people who always furrow their brow, or some people who are always looking, moving their forehead. So I have, I have a, actually, the person who introduced us has a daughter, and her daughter's beautiful, and she's young, she's uh, in college, but she has the same habit her mother has, and she has this, she, she literally has these lines already. And she's, what, 21, 22? Mm -hmm. So for her, doing something there is, is Critical, critical. It's it's good. So so the answer is it's different. But I, I think that if you this is, if you stop those lines before the, they're damaged, because I'll tell you more than you want to know. There's dynamic and there's static lines. Mm -hmm. um, and Ashley, can you maybe raise your eyebrows anymore? Yeah. A little bit. Off. All right, you were, oh yeah. So can I use you as an example? Mm -hmm. So so look. Here's Ashley. Here's <laughs> Ashley who who um, has not had any neurotoxin in more than three months. Mm -hmm. So a dynamic line and a static line. When you raise your eyebrows up, those are dynamic lines. So you won't raise them up really high. You only see them when she's moving. Now when she relaxes, they're not there. I, on the other hand, did not start this game early enough, so I can hardly move my forehead at all, but this is still not going away. It kills mm -hmm. me, it bothers me. But I wish I started earlier. So the point is, if you start too late, you can't, because I, I got plenty of stuff in here, but you nothing in there, but I got plenty here. <laughs> you can't. It's very hard to get rid of the lines once they're really deeply ingrained. Now, you can do filler and other stuff, but I used to have, uh, Ashley saw a video of me from 12 years ago when I started with one of my other practices, because <laughs> I wanted to show her how they did this video, this interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to show her the, the technique of the video. And she you know what she that. said? She goes, God, you look terrible. Because <laughs> I did. I, love it. I did. I look terrible. And so, uh, I guess that's a long answer to that question. Right. No, yeah. no, that's it. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So that's the answer. Start well, that's, you, I mean, I think that's the right answer. Start when the lines fall. I before. mean, what I found in my life is like, if I am asking that question, it might be time to start. That's, I mean, that's right. even, that's, I I mean, even when you guys ask about like yeah. recovery stuff and everything, I feel like if you're yeah. asking, then you might need to address but it. The, I'll tell you the most important thing we tell our patients here is a couple important things. Well, one of the most important things is this is you're not doing any of this stuff for your husband, boyfriend, oh, wife. Oh, hang on now. Nope. You're doing it for you. Yeah. Because it, the way it makes you feel when you walk out of here, that's what it's about. It's not for anyone else. And if, if you're doing it for someone else, we don't really want to treat you. I mean, right. that's not the reason to do this. It's for you. No, I just want to be taking better care of myself. That's so you why. can take care of others. So I can take care of others. And right. yeah, I do. I just want to be doing 
taking better care of myself. Yeah, you deserve it. Yeah. You've been taking I care of so other people, right? <laughs> Gosh darn because I'm swell and right. I deserve all it. Right, all the things. Yeah. All the things. Yeah. Okay, so, can we go do this let's thing? Let's do the Vizia. What's yeah. it called? Do you want me to stop? V-I-S-I-A. Vizia. V-I-S-I-A. And it's okay. a really, really neat computerized facial analysis. We do it here free of charge because we what we want to do is show you that we're not smoke and mirrors. We want to have data up there. And then three months later, four months later, eight months later, you've done stuff with us. We're going to compare and show you all the improvements you've made. Okay, well, brace yourself. All right, let's do it. Because I was born in Florida. Okay. So I it. have been a sun worshiper for lots, do lots you, Are we years. going to do this live? I think you guys come you so we on? can see. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. I mean, if they, nobody has, oh, should I leave my purse? Let me grab my purse. Oh. They're worried about his other patients. I think they need to know that you made an appointment. Oh yeah, he they he they knew I, they asked yesterday or they asked if I'd come in, but it was right. kind of last minute, and I didn't know we were actually doing anything. They just uh, yeah, mm. but far be it for us to miss an opportunity. <laughs> I don't know which one. Hashtag hot tops. Hashtag hot tops. Left or right? We are here. Sorry. To the right. Uh, yeah, we're just getting the room prepared. Right here. We'll have you have a seat right okay. here. Okay. Oh, fancy chair. All right. Oh, am I okay wearing it? Yeah, okay, you're good. So we are going to here. I'm going to move this up here. And Ash, you come on in. Um, what's that? I don't think I need that one. Yeah. So um, we are going to put you in the Vizia system. So this is the Vizia. Do you want to take a shot of this? Jane. Jane, you want to take a shot? Oh, sorry. Of this? Yeah. yeah. We love we love this thing um, because of all the amazing things it does. And once again, because it looks really cool. I love things with blue lights. It is very black. techy, yeah. high tech. So this has a database of 250,000 people, and we're going to compare you to your peers. I'm sorry. I told you, things you're going to love about it. And All the 29-year-olds? Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm going to put you in here. It's an R-E-D-D. E-L-L. E-L-L. That's what I thought. Okay. And how about your first name, your full first name? How do you? Uh, N-A-T-A-L-I-E. Okay. And... I will, I get, yeah, we'll scoot that, yeah, yeah, so let's do okay. this. Okay, 9, 11, 76. Okay. And then every year it's 29, yeah. on the okay. age part. Gotcha. <laughs> and I got that, and I got this. Yeah. Oh, I think it's actually 076, I always do that wrong, so it's 76. Okay, so uh, if you are just joining, we're gonna, um, we're at Rejuvenate yeah. MD in Richmond. Um, Dr. Lonnie Green, and they offer a number of services, including Botox and filler and skincare. I want to talk to them about getting a good skincare regimen. Um, and we did add a little bit more Botox for some things that could use them. Um, and what we're about to do is like a skin, a skin, I guess really a skin. A facial analysis. analysis. A facial analysis. So like, I'm kind of scared. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, Come I just know here. all my years in the sun. And we need you to take off your makeup and any makeup you might have on. Okay. Including you know, eyes? No. Oh. Yeah, okay. everywhere. That's fine. But oh, we, I use oh, these. Eyes, no, eyes are okay. okay. Not that your eyes. So. You, these those? are the ones we use. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are so. All right, there. there we, are, we are ahead of meant to be. Right. See. I'm wiping this thing That's off. That's reassuring. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to worry about your eyes, just the rest okay. of your skin. And then this seat adjusts, so you're going to be putting your chin here and your forehead there. So okay. if your height's good, great. If not, you can adjust it up and down, up or down. Am. Feel like you're okay? Oh, I might need to go down just yeah, a little just bit. Yeah, just be careful. It'll go down really fast. Okay, so. well then I'm going to not do it. No, no, just stand <laughs> up and do it. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see that being yeah. a... That All could right. have been scary. So now, what we're going to do is, this is going to, uh, you're going to put your forehead, you comfortable? I don't know. Yeah, you might, a little higher. Chin? You need to be a little higher. Oh, I need higher. A little higher. <laughs> yeah. Ready? And then you want to. Oh, okay, yeah. that's good. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. so I'm going to get you to close your eyes, and you're going to you're going to have three. You're going to see three bright flashes of light. Great. And then you stay where you are. I'm just going to move this thing because it's going to we're going to look at you from multiple angles. And this Vizia is one of our favorite things to have because of the fact that we can do an objective analysis of you. So here, the same thing, three bright flashes. And then you stay where you are. I'm just going to move this thing again. There we go. Good. And then same exact thing, three bright flashes. 
Fantastic. Now you can go ahead and back, and if you want to have a seat in that chair, you'll be able to see things a little better. Okay. And so what this is Jane, now, can you see? You may want to see the screen yeah. more than I'm gonna, anything. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go down. So this is oh, now. Oh, there's a good screen. What now? This is now going to analyze your skin type and tell us kind of there's a something called the Fitzpatrick's skin system. It tells us from light to dark what, what number you are. Okay. Because certain of the treatments here we do here, like a BBL, um, certain light-based treatments, absorb energy differently. So you're about, this calls you about a three, which is what I would agree with. So I would go with that. The next thing it's going to do is going to, um, it's going to analyze your face. So we wanted to not take into account your beautiful lashes. <laughs> so we're going to move this a little bit. Uh, that one needs to be moved a little bit there. Not much. Because uh, we don't want those showing up as wrinkles. But everything else looks good there. And then we're going to go next. And it's going to do more of a side view. Same exact concept here. Let's bring this down a little bit. That's so cool. This, down. Bring this, out a little this bit. is just a scan of her face, right? To help. Correct. That's yeah. what's doing. People are thinking she's getting another treatment. No, no. This, this I is. Know. But, but <laughs> I do, promise. I'm yeah. Good. But we do this not so much for Botox, but any kind of skin care, any kind of light based sure, treatment. To analyze where we are and mm -hmm. what damage there is. Exactly. Okay. And then we can also show you when we do treatments that, hey, here's where you improved. Because sometimes it's hard to see, hard to appreciate. So this documents in a really, really, really good for, you know, photographically. Um, so now it's just going to generate, it doesn't analyze, it analyzes different areas of your face for different things. Okay. And then it's going to, like I said, it's going to compare you to a database of 250,000 others uh, so you know kind of where you are on the scale. Okay. Um, and it's going to give you a ranking from zero to 100%. So for instance, if it says 80, that means that, uh, you're in the top percentage. And, and you'll see, it'll, be, it'll become more clear once this comes out. And let me just get that this. That is so cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more information than I would oh, sure. yeah. Like, like I say, so there, there's... Oh. They're saying sweet. Yeah, there's parts you, that are good and parts Whoa. you don't. What's that? So these are the spots on your skin. Huh. And, uh, you know, and you said you grew up in Florida and had a fair amount of... Like, yeah. my, most of yeah. my life. <laughs> and I know you haven't done a lot of formal skincare stuff, no. so it's not that surprising. You're, you're in the 23rd percentile, which means... What? Seven, sorry. That failed. 77% of people your <gasps> age and sex are better in spots. However, look at look at wrinkles, okay? Um, you're in the top. You're in 79, so you're better That's than... That's still a C. Well, you know, you still, have, you still have some of those there. But if you notice, your forehead... Remember I, told you you <coughs> still have, remember I told you you still have some motion in those muscles? Yeah. But you didn't have any in your forehead? So this confirms that. So your forehead, where you had that Botox that was fine... Not a single line, but here where you still like said I said we could have put more in, but let's just leave mm -hmm. that alone for now. That's where you have some. So, but you're certainly not bad. And then the texture of your skin is pretty good too. Must be all the stuff you're doing at home. So yeah. that's seventy percent. You know, so, it's the glitter face mask. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the like pink dye. Trying to get the glitter face mask <laughs> off. <laughs> and then you are blessed with good pores. Some people. This is something that people have. Some people have tremendous numbers and they're well, much did larger. Did I finally get a beat? Did I finally get 85%. a beat? Eighty-five percent. I got it. Otherwise, I was failing. Yeah. I so mean, if I were in college, I would have not passed this yeah. class that we so, averaged. And there's things we can do for that. And then this is the what one you're going to... What do you gonna, do about the sun? Are you ready to hate me? Yeah. I'm still recovering from okay. the sun. Are you ready for this picture? I don't know. Go uh, ahead. Go you ahead. sure you want to... You want to you you wanna wanna show it live? Can I have a sparkling water? <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm getting these spicy. Are, Somebody these, said the, your, sheet, the machine This is it. shoot out a Prozac your, after it tells you the results. <laughs> this is ultraviolet damage you've had over oh, the course of oh your gosh, life. No. I can't even not say a bad I'm word over it. Oh, God. Yeah. That's it. So... That is when someone when you see yeah, get her a water when oh you God. see older when you see older <laughs> folks with uh oh what they say no I'm laughing okay. at you saying yeah get her a water she needs to hydrate yeah oh. when you see older folks with age spots you know what they call age spots brown spots those didn't happen last week or last month or last year those things happen 20 30 oh, yeah. 40 years so these are things that you have under your skin and over time. They do come out. That's what an age spot is. But they again, when you see someone older with a brown spot, it didn't just happen. Right. The good news is we have technology here. For instance, our Forever Young BBL. We can target these things, and I'm not kidding you. You literally see them come to your skin and then fall off in little fine black things. It's crazy. So we can show you over time that this picture will improve. Is it you're, possible you're, that you're all in the lowest of our 10%, numbers? By the way. I'm what? You're in the lowest ten percent. Sorry. That that is not. You know. <laughs> 
Because people we're come in. We're getting a milkshake after this. I'm just saying. No, no. We're, we're also not starting doing that. a diet program. Yeah, we're, we're not getting a milkshake that. first. Not milkshake. Not milkshake. So, you know, you grew up in Florida. I, my guess is you probably didn't worship uh, sunscreen. You probably, you know, were out in the sun um, a lot. I used baby oil yeah. and betadine and mirrors there and tin you foil. Go. Yeah. So we see this all the time. But the good news 10%. is, the good news is we can treat this. We can treat this. Oh, my gosh. And this goes hand in hand. Same thing, the brown spots of the melanin in your skin. Oh, oh this that's... is not okay. Yeah, well, this is Florida. Is you grew up in Ooh. Florida. These are some of the pigments that are already in there. But we can work on these. This is, okay, so you have so many areas of potential to improve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. Um, okay, and your reds, you know, th this is pretty classic around the Ooh, chin. That makes my lashes look pretty, though. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like what you look like the we other night. We can print that before my <laughs> That looks like the glitter face that, mask. Don't get confused. This is not oh, a redo of the glitter Wait, face mask. Wait, we are at the bottom of the barrel. Okay, but you know what's fun about that? Yeah. At 90. Nobody wants to be yeah. an A coming no out the gate. No place to go. And do you ever have little breakouts at times, little, like occasionally? occasionally? Yeah. So you have porphyrins too, and, and the porphyrins are complexes that tend to, um, can get you know OMG. pimples and things like that. Yeah. And there's again, you're not on a a medical grade regular skincare regimen, and these are all areas that will markedly improve. Things like the hydrofacial. Doing the hydrofacial is amazing for extracting okay. things like that. So on all then, of them? Well, one last question. Do you want to see your <laughs> what this thinks your age is versus your real age? Oh, I don't. Uh, you can tell me. Yeah, I do. I think okay. we should. This now is going to calculate your true skin age. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Look, it has a little birthday candle. Can you see that? Yeah, well, okay, that's so nice. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, this is good. What? So, yeah. Maddie. So, yeah. I'm so, not too older than I high am. High five. High five. Woo. What? Yeah. So, so overall, overall. Oh, that's a relief. I was everything. scared because yeah. I was doing so poorly. This is good. This is good. So there's all kinds of fun things we can do with this. But that's kind of cool. The, the main thing we use is... is knowing where you are, and then documenting where we can help you and, and showing you that it's not smoke and mirrors. Okay, is it possible that we could improve <laughs> after if I do my skincare stuff and we do the... Somebody <laughs> said that's wrong. She's 12. <laughs> I mean, did he not get the memo? <laughs> Again, we can't save everybody. You know my villain on that. <laughs> um, is it possible that I could improve these all of them like we could come back in a year and not be in an f and six out of eight of them yeah truthfully the only area that is difficult to change here is your pores because you're born with your pores okay. you know, we have something called the instant pore refiner but to be completely honest with you Anything Where about was I on pores? Forty nine percent. Oh, pores. Oh, yeah. so okay. Well, yeah, you're pretty good. good. Yeah. So that's good. So we we don't like to tell people. There is the, people will say, oh, this will get rid of your pores. You can't get rid of your pores. They're right. in your skin. So we don't want to mislead anyone. So in the area of pores, we can do things to to minimize their appearance. Okay. Uh, we can't get rid of them, so we don't usually move the needle very much on pores. We can totally move, and, and porphyrin's a little harder too because that has to do with how, how acneic you are, but we can certainly move the needle tremendously on your UV spots, your brown spots, your red air, red areas, uh, texture, wrinkles, and spots. Yeah, absolutely. Can move the so, will you print that out, or yeah, will we'll this be documented we'll, for today so we have we'll, a yeah, benchmark? We, we can print it out, but we have it documented, and then we can, what's really cool is when you go in here again, we can overlay. Your previous one versus your that new one. That is really... Isn't that cool? Okay, I'll be honest with everybody in here. All three of us. <laughs> and everybody on the other side of the Yeah. One thing that is hard about skincare, like if you really are trying to be committed to it, I mean, if you've been working out and you've been dieting and you lose weight, you can see it in your clothes, you can see it on the scale. On your skin, not that it's so subtle, sure. and like I need results, like just you know, yeah. like I need marked, even if they're lying, yeah. <laughs> even yeah. if you lie, like it helps me. <laughs> so that yeah. is encouraging to feel like yeah. that is actually a motivator sure. to me to feel like okay, yeah. we'll be able to tell if it's really getting better. Absolutely, one thing we found at Rejuvenate it's is exciting is showing people pictures, showing them these kind of things, giving them results, and that's why. You know, we did pictures in here, but on the iPad is a program we can show you side by side, so, so you sure. can see the results you're getting. It's important. That's cool. It's important. Well, I'm excited. That's going to help me be more committed to feel like 
we're getting that right number down to 12 for real. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah. I'm excited. It's a great journey. We're happy to have you go on it with us. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so where we go, now we'll go talk about the skincare stuff? Yeah, yeah, okay. we'll do skincare. So, do they want to stay? Up. Oh. Welcome to stay. I'm going to have one right. of our master we'll just stay. come we'll in. We'll stay because kinda... I wouldn't mind saving it because then sure. I can wash it back yeah. if I ever forget. Let, me, let okay. me go get the right stuff for the okay, skincare. Awesome. All right, Thank I'm going to scoot out here. Be right back. Oh, you want to? Yeah, let me hold it for a second. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Hands, under boob, armpits. I've seen them inject multiple places for sweating. Botox does it all. Okay. So, in case you're just... We all need milkshakes. I mean, we're not lying. I really, I want to get on the like weight loss program here too because we're trying to fix all of our life stuff. But I need a milkshake after that. That was a lot. Oh, he hooked you good. <laughs> Listen, that scared the crap out of me. Look at that. It's hard to see. It's okay. hard to see all this stuff. Can you, like that, I have a 13. Wait, I can't get. 13% out of 100 on that. They were all UV spots. So he is a legit doctor. Yes, he not is a legitimate doctor. It's um, a Botox specialist. He, he is not a doctor. Botox guy. He is actually an MD. It's, um, the guy is weird. Um, complex is after watching this video. Okay, don't be. <laughs> you're laughing hard. Okay, can it scan for cancer too? I don't know. Hi, Ireland. Um, all right, so 20, I got a 23 out of 100. Like, out of 100 people, I'm only 23 from the bottom. It's Dr. Lonnie Green, and it's Rejuvenate MD. If you want to, does he also sell cars? I don't know, but I'll find out. Hold, please. Um, Cause okay, because we'll, we'll buy one. Red areas, I don't know what that means, 15%. I don't know what that means. Texture, we know, because we've rubbed the heck out of it. Wrinkles, 73%. And then spots, 67. I don't know if I'm holding the camera great. But anyway, he did do a little bit more Botox. Actually, I came here because, um, you did this. Okay, sleep on it, please. Okay, well, I do need help with skincare because I know I'm not doing the right thing. I need to ask him about my sparkle buckle lady parts because every uh, doctor we've asked so far, we haven't gotten much help. It's a okay. marvel. It's a medical mystery. Um, okay, so we did a little bit of Botox. If you missed that earlier in the video, he did some a little bit more Botox here and a little bit down here. Hashtag winning. Um, and now he just was, do we did that skincare analysis because I really, really, really do want to try and do better about my skin. Mostly, um, like what I've really learned, I'm not sore at all. I can't even feel that. Um, <clears throat> beauty is on the inside sometimes. Truthfully, since I've started these crazy, like, live videos, you guys have taught me. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot of what I don't know, and I get kind of overwhelmed with the skincare stuff. So I, they were, are going to just do that analysis and help me figure out a program. And so then you guys can just follow it along. Okay, but also I need to lose, like, 20 pounds. Jake would not agree with this. I'm kind of stressed about the fact that I have been eating milkshakes with everything with my hubby's stuff. And so they have a help with a weight loss thing. And I'm doing that, and you guys are going to follow that. That's really why I came, and then I accidentally got Botox. But I am kind of excited about it. And, I mean, you know, I just like to be the guinea pig. It's because I love you guys. Um, cool. They do do cool scope sculpting. I don't, I haven't done that, but I've heard really great things about it. So you got the micro needle roller thingy. I'm loving that. You're way too hard on you. I know, I know that. Um, so the weight loss program, I'm just killing time because he comes back, but the weight, I know, hi, 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 Heather. So the weight loss thing, I, <laughs> I slipped and fell into Botox. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie, I don't know what a thread lift is. Okay, so mainly I'm just sharing it so you guys can see too. Because, like, honestly, I don't know. Lord knows it's never a tutorial. It's a science experiment. So they offered for me to come in and learn about what they had. And it was awesome because Jane's here. Because not that she'll be in the thing. Um, so 
<laughs> oh, did you see your fingers? Okay, okay, so now we're about to get edumacated. <laughs> we're gonna edumacate, okay, let me flip, flip. Okay, more homeschool, <laughs> hashtag Instagram University. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit, I know we talked earlier about what you're currently using on your skin. You said you're trying to be good about vitamin C, retinol. That kind of yes. Um, I use, I've been using Cetaphil or Cetaphil. Okay. I've just read that that's like just a cla- like kind of a safe it is. cleanser. It is. Um, and it's like not that expensive from CVS or whatever. So I usually use that. Um, and then on a more most regular basis, I use, I have a vitamin C on Amazon, this three set of three that I found, vitamin C, hyaluronic, and retinol. Okay. And I sort of try and do it. But then, actually, I was doing well. <laughs> I, I sort of try and do it. Um, I was actually doing well. It's just that um, I, then I started, the more I've tried to learn about skincare, the more I've gotten overwhelmed. And then I started reading, like, wait, don't mix those. And I'm like, crap. So I've, that's kind of what has made me, I've gotten a little bit paralyzed because, it oh, and I do love my rose lot. oil. I do love rosehip oil. I've been doing that in the morning before I put makeup on. Okay. But I still, it's that same thing. Sunscreen? Every day? My makeup has sunscreen. <gasps> I mean, generally, spear is not enough Everybody's saying just wear makeup. sunscreen. Pink yeah. glitter mask, yeah. lash, L- LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Generally, there's not enough SPF in just your makeup. Okay. You really want to have a daily SPF. So, and... I, I mean, I'm I'm a little bit shocked by my... Uh, I can't stop watching you like a car crash. I'm not going to take that <laughs> personally. Okay. I'm a, we hold it just yes. like this. So, I mean, that freaked me out. See, and that, it's not that I didn't know that. I was born in Florida. I worshipped the sun for 30 years till we moved here, and I even tried to worship it a little bit here. So, I've never been great about sunscreen, so I, I would have been surprised if it weren't that, but it's hard to see it. I know. I know. That's, <laughs> all right, so but what kind just of think of sun? how much better it will be after you do some of these okay. things. Because you really okay. can. That's the nice thing about the Vizia is when you come back in, <clears throat> it will be able to show you I'm how far you've about come. that because yeah. that's one thing I get kind of discouraged with skincare stuff because you're like, I hope it's working. I just keep doing it, but it'll be nice to have, like, concrete Yeah. To see what's that's going on. That's why we really like it. And we can put it side by side, and it'll give you the numbers, and it, it is nice. Um I would definitely say sunscreen has got to be a part of your regular routine outside of your makeup. And I usually tell patients the best sunscreen is the one that you're going to put on your face every day. So there's no magic formula sunscreen that one is better than the other. That being said, a lot of patients give feedback that like, it's not, it feels tacky, it feels sunscreeny, I feel like I'm at the beach or whatever. So there is a really nice sunscreen. So Zio is the, the product line that we use. Okay. There's a really nice sunscreen from Zio. It's a primer and sunscreen, so it has a little tint to it. So it's not enough to look like makeup, but it'll just kind of camouflage a little bit. Okay. And I generally do what find- What SPF? It's just an SPF, sorry to this one, no, it's okay. It's an SPF 30. And okay. that's another thing with SPFs. It doesn't, it doesn't go up like you think it does when you're do, looking at an SPF. 30 versus an SPF 50 versus an SPF 100. It's really incremental, the extra protection that Mm -hmm. you get from it. So as long as it's an SPF 30, I'm happy with that. And some people kind of, I think, get a little bit, well, I'm using an SPF 100, so I'm getting that much more protection and I don't have to reapply or anything like that, and that's not the case. It's just, it's a little tiny bit more. So SPF 30 and above, like I said, this one is a really nice one. And Look Can at I the, show this? Can I interrupt you oh, for yeah. one second? Y'all know I love a clipboard. <laughs> 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 I mean, I am like a clipboard list junkie. But how cute is it? It's like a little prescription it pad. It is a prescription. It's cute because I'm going to like tape it up. Because I can tape this right Yes, yeah. And I can put it in the bathroom. So I've got like, so in case we get distracted or. <laughs> or you any, need any to reference things. <laughs> And how cute is that? We'll have a little plan. Yes. I love a plan. And I'm not going to go crazy on you because there's a couple of different steps that are really important. Sunscreen is the most important. 
there's nothing wrong with Cetaphil. It's not going to hurt you, but it's just not doing that much for the you. What, for the cleanser that I'm using. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and it doesn't come in a pretty box like that. it doesn't. Really I love pretty. how pretty that is. I love that color. <laughs> it looks like sapphires, and that's my birthstone. I feel like it's a sign.